13 states, 91 million Americans are facing a weekend of treacherous cold ice and snow. And this is how it looks. This week, Arctic air washing down over this country in waves, wave after wave. And as ABC's Steve Osinsami tells us, it's not over yet. Steve. Good evening, Diane. It's so difficult to see this thin layer of ice and freezing rain up to half an inch fell in some places on roads and trees, sending cars flying. Today, it was one wreck after another. Outside Knoxville, a state trooper slid off the road. The fire truck racing to assist him flipped on the ice and crushed his car, and he died of a heart attack. In southern Indiana, a bus carrying a women's track team rolled over after the driver lost control, and four students were sent to a hospital. She did everything she could, fish tail, hit the brakes. I mean, she fought it for probably a good half mile. Schools were closed or closed early in Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, and in Lynchburg, Virginia, where cars and school buses had to negotiate with the ice. But in much of the Midwest and Northeast, where the storm is now quickly moving and where it's still bitterly cold, my nose got really cold. Schools are still open, and health officials are warning parents to keep their kids safe. What if your child hadn't been sick before and you go outside and they're having a cough? That might be one of the first signs that you may see that they're having some kind of uh, bad response to the cold air. Here are a few families to really feel for and a surprise caught on camera. The people who live in this apartment building in Pontiac, Michigan, have had no heat since Saturday and were using their ovens to keep warm. Then adding insult to injury, the water pipes burst. It was really tough for firefighters battling a blaze in Lawrence, Massachusetts, who looked like walking icicles in the cold. Yeah, it's tough because we're running into frozen hydrants and frozen lines. It's tough for the guys to get around with the icy conditions. There are worries about pets and wildlife, too. Newark, New Jersey Mayor Cory Booker came to the rescue again last night, saving a dog whose owner had accidentally left her stuck outside. This is brutal weather out here. This dog is shaking uh, really bad. And uh, you just can't leave your dogs out on a day like this and go away. North of the Mason-Dixon line, this extreme cold is expected to last through the weekend at the very least.